It's a, it's a I don't good, like flying, bro. Well, exactly. You stay here for six months and then fly back. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm running a company. And don't make no joke. Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah, I, I can see it lighting uh, up I, in your head. <laughs> I'm like this. Don't, don't, say, don't say it. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome to yet another episode of uh, the Optic Podcast, episode number 23, the Michael Jordan episode. Michael Jordan. We have a special guest, Mr. 100 Thieves himself, Mr. Nate Chad Matthew Haig. Welcome. We had a good time last night. We yes. Had an We're a little, time. Uh, I'm a little bit, you know, had, had a, one, one few too many there. last night. Uh, Are you hungover? A little bit. Are y'all all hungover? It's just you. I didn't drink. Oh. Apparently they're not. Oh, y'all are good. But I am. Because uh, uh, Jude came with, and we were hanging out. Um, he doesn't see you, that's why. We have uh, Gary, Gar Garibaldi up in this. Yo, remember Garibaldi's? Oh, oh I got to go back to those that. Those cookies, man. Just for Bro, Garibaldi's. Garibaldi's cookies. Dude, the, the best. I forgot about Garibaldi's completely. Dude, Dude do you what do you Lucky miss? What's the one restaurant? If you could have one restaurant today. Mm, Mago. Mago. Or Lucky Monk. Or Ooh. Bona Beef. Ooh. Mago wasn't that good. <laughs> what? The molcajete, whatever the fuck that was, it came in a in a. In a I will of... say I would love to eat mago now that I can taste. I have no idea what it would taste like. <laughs> I, th I, th I th how can you have a favorite restaurant then? I mean, you just can, ten years without tasting, you still got your favorite. Just the consistency. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Wait, just you all taste it a little bit. I mean, you could taste like sweet, salty, sour, spicy, but you can't taste like like I can taste now in HD, 4K. In HD. In HD 4K. That must have been just a mind-blowing experience oh it was it was I couldn't imagine. first time i had like brisket after i got the surgery i was like oh I, my god i would totally go for some burnt ends from uh quarters i couldn't imagine not being able to taste yeah. i love food so much i mean obviously yeah no you bro you don't look fat you look buff dude i've been, been building it been building it up for a little bit now he keeps making fun of me he, i'm not making fun of you you like that well, it didn't move as much as mine would. It feels good, yeah. All right, well, I mean, you don't have to grope my <laughs> Jesus tits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? That's what boys do. Let's get into the topics, please. Let's get into the topics. There's, 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 no, there's no topics, man. Uh, wh why are you in town? Uh, so I, I, my girl's from Houston, and uh, I have never met her dad's side of the family, and her dad passed away like four years ago. It's actually how her and, her, her and I started connecting at first. You know, my mom passed away, her dad passed away, uh, had that immediate, you know, we both been through it, yeah. um, so I finally got to meet her dad's side of the family, which was very special for her. They were all fantastic, and then we f uh, flew over to Dallas uh, to see my grandparents because my grandpa just had a stroke. So, wait, but he's doing both, good. Both your grandparents? Yes, they're both still alive. But my yeah. grandpa had a stroke, and they I, they were my godparents, and I'd be over at their house like every day after school. So I was really close with How them. How old are they? Uh, my grandpa was born in forty two, oh, so he God. is seventy nine. Yeah, not, he's not that old. Like bro, my parent, my grand, all my grandparents. I mean, my grandma was the two grandmas were the last ones to go, but my grandparents were. By the time I was like eighteen, they were they were gone. Mm. They had kids quick in my family. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they was out there. So now I'm here, on the Optic Podcast. Look so at that's this. where you got your horny traits from. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> from, his grand, <laughs> from his grandparents. Yeah, they were having kids early. That's I don't have no kids. This motherfucker's horny right here. Why are you there? <laughs> grabbed your tit. Exactly. You yeah. just can't stop. <laughs> I'm a menace. Yeah, man. So how's uh, how's how's it? What's it like owning a dog? Being the dad, a dog dad. I love it. I feel terrible right now because this this place is a mess and the, he was in here for 30 seconds started eating everything off the floor okay what well, name the things uh paper plastic it okay. was basically an entire recycling bin yeah it, waste management. it was it was those zip ties uh, it was you know shit that that you can find in any movie professional movie studio <laughs> in uh in warner brothers studios he's good now he's laying down uh yeah. but it's it's amazing having a dog i love having a dog he's I'm, awesome he meeting him made us want to get another one instantly for buzz so we're thinking we're we're gonna be looking into the same breed, miniature golden doodles. I mean, he's adorable. He looks. I keep saying he looks like a little Ewok. It is May the fourth. <laughs> it is May the fourth. May the fourth be with you. May the fourth be with you. It's sir. one of those tweets that you, you just feel bad sending it, but you gotta get. You it have to there. get it out. You have to. He just has a great temperament. You know, he's he he doesn't really bark too much. He's not aggressive with anybody. He loves being pet. He loves people. It's great. Does, he's does awesome. He, does he sleep in your bed every night? Yeah, yeah, it's the best, man. It's the best. It's the best until Louis, or the, what happened with me and Louis is that he he would 
like position himself to where his ass would be like right by my face mm. and then i was sleeping and i would be like what the fuck and i open my eye and i'll see another eye staring at me <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't his eyes it was the backwards eye it was the the starfish he did it on purpose the brown eye thank you what he did it on purpose i don't think dogs like like multiple nights in a row at some point you gotta know he's doing it on purpose no no i think he's just the way that he was laying he's like 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 a little uh well like a yapper like he's like a yeah and yeah. that didn't bother you at night he wouldn't do that oh really yeah yeah no but he would definitely like fart in my face I, we were talking about last night louis is hilarious i love that dog just because like he's if he wants attention he just sits there and he's, yeah, yeah like yeah. he just yaps at your feet until you pet him and then you pet him and he like curls everybody's like him. everybody's like oh he's the cutest he's so cute. i'm like i'm like no he's not it's like the cuteness goes away when you live with him you know I, I, mean? I can bring gary over here if the uh if the, the whining is bothering you guys. No, he actually doesn't no, do that. No, no. He knows that we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, he, and the fact that Roger's we have Roger's doing a good up, job right now. He's yeah. keeping yeah. him occupied. Good man, Roger. Good but man. that's that's <laughs> the only issue is that we got him during the pandemic, so he's used to us being at the house 24-7. Right. And I don't think he has separation anxiety because when we start going out to dinners or Haley and I will leave the house for a couple hours, we have a camera set up in the bedroom. He just hangs out. He doesn't get into anything, but it's surprising. Does he chew on stuff? Oh, he did when he was younger, yeah. He loves to chew on I mean, puppy things. teeth, they always do. Well, he's still eating plastic and shit. Like, well, none he, of my dogs are dumb. Like, yeah. they wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay. I'm, just, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Buzz definitely Can somebody would. clip that? Buzz <laughs> eats rocks. Huh? Buzz eats rocks. No, you see me because she's the youngest. Like, she eats, like, uh, crab apples. She eats, like, anything that falls from the tree, she'll eat it. He goes outside, and she's got a big-ass rock just working Wait, on didn't it. Wait, he, didn't he catch a rat once? Rats. <laughs> Does Anything. he eat the rats? No. Or just catch them? The other, just brings, like, this week, there's oh, like look a, at that. Smart man. This week, there's like a potato type thing that he somehow found, and we didn't. We thought it was a rat, but it's like a little fruit or something, and it's decayed, and he always tries to bring it inside, and it's gross. That's it's like his thing. Potatoes in your backyard, motherfucker? Uh, no, I don't Playing know. Minecraft? Well, it's obviously... <laughs> so there's there's construction still Is in our Matt neighborhood, Damon so there's the rats. Martian? You find the weirdest shit in our backyard just because the construction workers just don't care, and they throw trash, and... Sometimes you'll find a rat back there. There's Dude. bunnies. He chases the bunnies every time. Dude, yeah. there are so many bunnies here. There before they started doing construction out yeah, there. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, Dylan hit one going out of my neighborhood. No. Yeah. How I was fast was tell he going? A nice story, but then you hey, <laughs> go with your story. Yeah, Yo. they're, they're everywhere. <laughs> if if I was Dylan, I would try to like get out there and put like little little Easter eggs next to him. I said that that would have that would have shaken me up for a week, and he was just fine. Yeah, there was a there was a rabbit that had been hit right outside the ex quarters, and last time Blake and George were here, we were leaving, and Blake Blake like helped it off the road, and then he was shook. Blake yeah, was like shook that, for like a week. I, it, that would shake me, and I what? See be, the dead animal? No, like killing a bunny. Oh, you killing it? Yeah, like hitting a bunny. I'd feel so fucking bad. Yeah, because like you yeah. obviously do everything in your power to avoid it, but. Yeah. I mean, if he catches I always the go timing slow. through my neighbor, like I always make it a point to slow. Like I've 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 stopped traffic before for like a well, you month. We know Dylan. He got his new car. He thinks he's going you know, super fast. He thinks he's hot. He got his. Got have his... you ever stopped? Have you ever stopped stop traffic and help uh, ducks and ducklings walk across the street? Oh yeah, I mean if there's something walking across the street. And... Yeah, I've done that shit. You have never done that in your life. I mean, I'm not trying to paint myself as a saint, but if there's a thing of ducklings. But I'm you've not never going done it before. <laughs> you haven't done it before. I, though, right? I, I haven't had a pack of ducklings walk in front <laughs> I've of me. I've done that, is that on an, the highway. Is that an often occurrence that happens to people? Oh, I haven't seen that. You stopped your car on 53 on the way to Ranhurst, on the way to uh, uh, Woodfield. On the highway. On the way to Woodfield. That's dangerous, man. You're, putting, you're putting people's lives in no, danger. No, everybody, everybody, like we all, we I started to slow down. All the cars, we were like transformers. Everybody, like on my, <laughs> on my, we all stopped. We all got out of the cars. We all moved the dogs back into the thing, and everybody's like, do 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 honking. I don't know if they were honking like hurry up or honking like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I say is that they were like honking us in in uh, honking at us in support and uh, and appreciation for what we have done. There's still we're hope heroes. for humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Halo Infinite got delayed what? again. A possible battle royale. What would you want? You played Halo a lot, right? Yeah, that was my first game that I got addicted to. Halo 2. Halo Honestly, same. That was the first. No, like, you're a World of Warcraft guy. No, I played Halo before then. Halo is my first FPS that I really like ever got into. It's like a lot of people's first. Do you? Did you ever play Halo? Uh, I played the campaign on Sleepovers. The campaign, I played that thing so many times. Yeah, like with the flood. The first and stuff. mission when you're on the ship and just I never played. The I never played like you good. No, I'm fine. It's just you know the, the Twitter today is like 
<laughs> go crazy. You know what's funny? Uh, Halo 3, that last mission with the Warthog. Yeah, you just put it behind you. Greatest of all time. Oh, yeah, the music starts playing. Dun, 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 you're just smelling yeah. shit. What a, what a game. But yeah, How do you my... think a uh, possible Battle Royale would work in that? I, I don't think, know. I think a Halo Battle Royale might be the best Battle Royale ever made. I think Battle Royale was Truly made believe for Halo. It. Yeah. I think that's like... Whenever Battle Royale came out, I was like, Warthogs. that should be Halo. You got regenerative shields. I mean, you got all the, like, over overpower or all, what are they called? Overshield. Overshield, active camo. Like, that shit will be fire. You think active camo would be fire? Well, I mean, if it's... Well, it's got to have some balances to it, obviously, but the issue is... <laughs> here, here's the problem. <laughs> Wait, I, Halo spent, like, a hundred... No, 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 it was way more than that. It was, like, I'm pretty sure there's been a billion dollars worth of... Uh, budget for halo infinite something crazy i forget the exact number i read it somewhere or someone told me i don't know i don't even know if i should be saying this they spent a lot of money on this game it keeps getting delayed if that game flops oh i mean halo mcc to me was already the the, the biggest failure of a video game release ever ever yeah Ooh. i mean they they brought back a game a franchise that everybody loved all in one package and it didn't work it didn't for work. a year and a half and now if Halo Infinite fails? Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't play MCC, I, like, at all. Yeah, me either. I, mean, I remember release night. I remember, like, being Everyone hyped so to watch yeah. the pros play, and then I just sat in Roy's stream, and he was in the connecting lobby for, like, four hours. That is unbelievable. I, I forgot about that. I yeah, mean, the, the, really the, the legacy that... Wait, so, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. How long did it get delayed now again? I don't know. It just says possible delays, possible... They just write shit. Well, I'd, I'd rather they delay it and really polish it than, you know, put it out preemptively and it be a letdown. I feel like... Yeah. Because it's like... I, mean, I, think we've they, already, I think at this point they have to delay it if been, it's not good. We've already been waiting how long right. since the last Halo was released? I don't think it an has, extra couple it, months. Or, delay it if, if you have to because if it doesn't get delayed, it gets forced out. Then that's Cyberpunk, what I'm saying. Like yeah. a cyberpunk thing happens again. Yeah. I don't think the game ever had any intention of releasing... I still really but enjoyed Cyberpunk. They, they released it, yeah. uh, the marketing campaign for the brand new Xbox in correlation with the release of Halo Infinite. That was supposed to be like the breadwinner title that releases with the new Xbox. And then like a month later, they delayed it. I think they just got the hype out and then said, fuck it. They just want to get some word of mouth it, around. They, the they, they, they have to delay it because I don't think it could survive another blow like that. And that to me is like scary. It can't. It, no, it, that, to to me, either. that's scary because like I I obviously like appreciate Halo, love Halo. I, I've never played it, but like from a from an esports perspective, been around it for a very long time. I just remember growing up and just thinking that those pros were like the coolest ever. Yeah. Like Final Boss, Instinct, Status Quo. I used to envy like all of them. Yeah, Facts. Final Boss, They're Final the Boss, coolest. the dopest brand ever. Coolest branding in, in gaming. There's a there's a band right behind you on that on that corn guy. Oh, what no, on the corner, I, yeah. You used to have these laying around. Yeah, man. You have this in like a case. No, nah, man. We're 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 humble. We're humble oh, out here. It's stuck. Yeah, what that's the Halo one. Oh, this is Halo. Yeah. Oh, no wonder you have it up here. <laughs> Wait, kidding. what? I'm kidding. I love Halo. Our cod one doesn't even. <laughs> see. I don't get it. It's just sitting there. It's... Oh, this is the cod one. Yeah, those are. Well, it's the one that I wear the I most, know. which is why it's uh, is that I, <coughs> I had to dope. get, I had to borrow Seth's ring. And then got had to go get a replica made. That shit would hurt. Getting hit by that? Nah. Anyway, right, as I was saying, I had to up. I had to borrow Seth's <laughs> ring to go get it go get my own made because the league only gave it to the players. I feel bad for Gary. No, where's formal at? I, I can't feel... believe they didn't get you one. I don't know. Me either, man. Yeah, Halo fucking wild. sent me one. Halo sent you one. Yeah, Call Duty didn't send you one. The owner's oh. got to get a ring. Like, what? I know. You already took all our fucking trophies, so I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> It's kind of deserved. Yeah, that's fucked up. I don't have a single trophy. Okay, I'm going to tell neither. you. Uh, listen, what? One. Either take of one. you. Okay. So it's, uh, oh. Both of you both of you kids, what have you kept that you... Like, I had to carry his fucking gold I've, medal. It would have been lost for a long time. You don't even... Where's your gold medal at? Uh, one of them is in Pennsylvania. The other one's on my setup. I mm -hmm. have every single optic jersey that's ever been made Good. in my closet right now. You're, in LA. Yeah. Where is it? Your jerseys. Uh, I think they're here. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is that I take care of everything better than anyone I know. Better than anyone I know. So why wouldn't I keep the most valuable stuff that we've ever accomplished as an org right there in plain sight for me to always take care of? 
saying, man. Give us a damn trophy. Yeah, here you go. Yeah, air, walking, air up, trophy. walking up my stairs, I have like a perfect thing where I could showcase no, them. No, 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 no. I have no. nothing to be proud of. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Bro, you know what's crazy? I used to do all the clippings for all of your newspaper stuff, and I framed it for you. I don't see a single one of them. I still, I have them. One's hung wait, up wait. in my office at the at the at, at the Cash App compound. That piece of shit compound. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? That, around. Around. That, 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 like, nobody around yeah, here, obviously like, nobody believes that. Yo, um, how come I never been invited to the Cash App compound? Yo, how come you didn't invite me to the to the Uno game? Because we needed real influence. Damn, Damn. I knew it was coming. It still I hurt. I set myself up? Yeah, you yeah, did. That's fucked up. No, I don't know. Wait, I, listen, I actually, don't make me compare myself to the no, people that you invited. No, I'm being serious. So I wasn't that involved in the planning for that project. Who I mean, was it? Can you fire him? No, no, no. They did a great job. They did all right. They did a, they did a fantastic job. Seth and I job. weren't invited. We would have been out there, me and Scum. First of all, I can't barely ever get you guys to L.A. Second of all, when you came to L.A. last week, you didn't even tell me you were coming. I had to find out on Twitter. Damn. Third of all... Damn. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and that high horse you rode in on. Now, I'll have you in the next one, but like people people say they want to be a part of these events, and then they never show up. You know, Ooh, I, I've never let you down on showing up on some. I always I probably show up. wouldn't have been able to go because of the CDL anyway. Yeah, that's fine, but I could have. We, we wanted, and we, I know that's why I wasn't. Yeah, and we wanted people from Envy there way more than we wanted people from Optic. Yeah. Botez oh. Sisters, fantastic contribution to the stream. I agree. Hector, you had been smoking weed and shit, just like. It is L.A., and I do love me some chronic. Uh, all right, we have a question from Anthony Soto. Question for the podcast. With rumors of Modern Warfare 2 Remaster replacing a new Call of Duty title in the future, how would you guys feel about playing Remastered game over a brand new Call of Duty title in would the league? Would never happen. It's not going to happen. Would never happen. Just okay, so for the record, you didn't really play Modern Warfare 2, right? Like, Modern Warfare 3... <laughs> I don't want them to bring Modern Warfare 2 back. If you're going to remaster Modern Warfare 2, you need to bundle it up with a Modern Warfare 3, bring out all the masks, bring out all the guns. What I think is really cool about Warzone is the versatility and all the weapons that they've now filtered into the game. I know that the Cold War weapons have caused controversy, might be overpowered, underpowered. Either way, if they remaster a title, it can't be like... Call of Duty 4 well, remastered. It needs to be Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare mm. 3 together. We've talked about it before. There's literally a game, I think, in China and in Japan... They Call literally have, yeah, and they have every gun, every map. Like, that, I just don't understand why that's not possible here, but it's possible there. I mean, it is possible. But, well, the, because they, they can't, like, release there's something like they have to release a free to play game there or something like that. It's something like that, and it has to do with, like, well, it's because piracy. I mean, Cod Mobile, too, though. Cod Mobile. Oh, Cod Mobile is Cod Mobile awesome. Cod 4 Remastered was not what. Everyone was hoping it would and be. And it's none of For them. For the record, none of them are Call of Duty like. Remastered is the best Call of Duty game that has ever been released, period, end of story. <laughs> it was so great. The ability to have like your melee weapons be like a broken bottle is all I ever wanted. All I ever wanted was to pick apart the day and put the pieces back together my way, ASAP Rock. No, but all I ever wanted was to like have different ca camos for, for the M48 3, you know what I mean? And that gave me it. It was an all-American flag with a little bit of like green camo. It was fucking fire. Remast Favorite game so far. Remasters are great. It's just the nostalgia can only take you so far. But if they I think that I I don't know. I I like COD Four, but I just don't think I don't think it aged well. I really don't. And then on top of that, you have the like the the connectivity issues and the fact that the M16 was way overpowered. And I mean, it it's like, just it's just the new generation too. Like we've had so many Call of Duties now that are advanced movements, you know, and it's really they've kind of been sticking to that year after year for the past, you know, seven eight years. Yeah. So now all of those younger kids that never even played COD Four, they play it, and it feels like they're in quicksand. Is it me or has Modern Warfare or uh, uh, Advanced Warfare been like a fucking super hot topic in the last week? General, obviously, he's a big fan of it, but like Matt was talking about how it's his favorite. Dylan was talking about how it's his Advanced fucking favorite. Advanced Warfare was one of the most fun games. Now to he's play. Uh, now they're saying that. Like I've never heard this from anyone. Well, here's the problem: is so that people fun. say they hate the game that they're playing while they're playing it, and three years later they just have that nostalgia. And like, man, that was the best game. I everybody just, hated Advanced Warfare when it right? came out, and now everybody says. I know. Won. That's why I'm surprised I, that this week I don't know where I hated. The public side of advanced warfare, Hard point but competing Detroit. in that game, you could just out. You could literally go into a match like there's a zero percent chance we lose to these kids just because we're nasty and they are not. Like that, that was one of the cods where you could really just outskill someone. Yeah, and I love that. <laughs> what led to my I mean, there's there's <laughs> there's still cods that obviously you can still outskill people in like this game, for instance, but it's not even close to the same. Like you could do some crazy shit in AW. 
Yeah, how do, I, bro, I just don't understand how people can be okay with advanced warfare movement, but not okay with somebody slide canceling. You know what they need to do? Slide canceling is, it's just a weird mechanic. Like, with the jumping and stuff, that was just, it's so hard to explain those two things, because slide canceling feels like a gimmick that shouldn't be in the game. Yeah. What about like, G-sliding? G-sliding was lit. G sliding was lit. G -sliding. But I mean I think it's still there, right? But that that was like a that was like an evasive, you know, type Get some maneuver. speed. I, I feel like slide canceling shouldn't be an engagement. It should be Here's a disengage, what, but it's an engagement. That's why it's weird. Here's what Call of Duty needs to do. With how popular Warzone has become, every Call of Duty title from here on out should be on the Modern Warfare engine. Every single one. It's the best engine. I love Treyarch, David Von Hart, you're my boy. Black Ops Hoop, still my favorite Call of Duty of all time. The Modern Warfare engine is so smooth. The gunplay feels incredible. It's like the only thing that I still truly love about it. it man, the, it's I so I agree good. with that. If last so year had better too. maps, last year would have been a lot of fun. Because yeah. I loved like, the, the engine. Again, the, worst, the, I mean, the slide yeah. canceling. I, I love, that, I, bro. I loved Modern Warfare S and D. I Damn. loved it. Gun Runner, my bro, favorite map. It was I so much. I loved it. We played so many old men of optics exactly. GBs. Yeah, I, I loved Same. the the, uh, the um the engine. Yeah, the engine. Stroking out here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only, I mean, the only issues with MW from like a competitive side of things was the maps. respawns, maps and spawns. Yeah, and the fact that there was no. DS or Dead Silence. But yeah, I, I think, mean, yeah, the, I mean, that's a whole other thing. The that doors. was that was questionable. Yeah, but like, I love the engine. I agree. When I got Dead Silence on S and D, oh, bro, you felt like you were a uh, Superman. Superman. Yeah, yeah. Your, your screen oh, had that God, like little so white. Like, yeah. Especially just, if you, especially if you played on PC like, oh. and your FOV was like fucking even, already at ninety when you or one hundred. Got Eddie in a match and like search. Yeah, yeah that's like, the thing. On I, Ramaza, you just be like, all right, here I go. Yeah, that's yeah. the fucked up part is that, yeah, it messed with competitive and respawn, but I actually thought it was a really cool element in s and Because you had to really think about when you were going to use Dead Silence. And you're right, on Ramaza, if those doors were open, you are flying. It was it was incredible. Yeah, remove the doors, and I think that we're, like, right on time. Last year, you know, was great, but I agree. <laughs> I love the engine. <laughs> Stop playing my tits. <laughs> Mate. But I love the engine. I would, I would not be... I Mad if that was so. What? Where is all this model for two stuff coming from? Because that's like the first time I've heard. I don't know. It's like it's like I mean it's it's been a talking point. It's on the sheet now. Because what I've heard is that Activision DMCA strike a dude's channel who talked about it, and so people thought that that confirmed mm. the fact that it was real. But I think it might have confirmed the fact that they might be pushing the next COD more than in the fact that MW2 remastered. Wait, uh, here's imagine. All right, let me set it up. Yeah. If like advanced warfare, I so I, usually I I know already. Yeah. I truly like I'm my mother's soul. I have no idea like a, any detail about the next Call of Duty. How crazy would it be if they did uh, sort of like Captain America did with like an alternate timeline of World War II and they gave everybody fucking jetpacks? <laughs> <laughs> How wild would that be? I don't know. Just right, flying with the PPSH? Because like it's Sledgehammer. There's no way. There is no way that Activision is going to let Sledgehammer do another shitty ass World War II title. No shot. No, it is announced. It's been talked about. It's happening. I know, but it, maybe it's gonna be the same color timeline. as the, it, the whole. The whole thing's gonna have this tint. It's gonna be Dude. just brown yes. shit, dirt, and like dark gray greens. Some of the best maps that people will put on their tier list of all time are bright and vibrant. That's why I love Valorant so much. They get that oh, every yeah. map is your favorite map because. You don't realize, but subconsciously, they're visually appealing. It's visually yeah. appealing, and the camos in Valorant. I mean, they're just they're it's like killing if you it. Uh, go to Disneyland. You know that they have a, a, a look away green. It's a very it's a specific color that they created. That when you see it, you might you might not even know that it's there. And if you see it, you don't even like it. Your brain your brain is. And that's what it? Call of Duty maps sometimes feel like to me. It's just it's dark like, and dreary and fucking yeah, gross. It's so nasty. It was bad. Yeah, World War II was really gray. It was so ass that people started thinking that there was like that they were adding trees mid season because they were just interested in finding out something cooler. Yeah. The trees. I don't know. Like, I, I've never been a big fan. Like Modern Warfare Three, God, oh my God, such a good game, but the worst fucking colors I've ever seen. I in, love the World War Two like era. World at War was one of my favorite games. Playing yeah. GBs yeah. on that game was yeah. so much fun. What? World at War? Yeah, I yeah, love World at War. Wow, well. I didn't really play it. 
I did. It. Unscoped Arasaka Mastery. Like I love the obviously. I love the guns and like just the overall feel of those types of games. I just hope that it's executed well. What I liked about World at War is that you can curve bullets like in that movie Wanted. Well, I could obviously, uh, but that's I'm different. Yo, um, a hundred thieves announced the roster change yesterday. Uh, adding well, it's happening right now, and TJ just tweeted out that he was benched. So, first of all, all right, we cut we cut in that that part. Or? Well, you don't have to cut it. I Why? Mean, uh, I mean, that's what you were about to start uh, talking about. No, but about. he was talking about TJ, and you well, know, like we never. Next we Mike can't pick this up, right? Because no. the announcement's in like 15 minutes. No, no, no. no, no. All good. right, let me just say. I my mean, piece you really keep quick. it quiet though, like, look. yeah. Because Nick's gonna probably like he heard that. Nick's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I just want people to understand, and and Hector, you know this probably better than I do. Roster changes suck. Ass. Oh, the worst part it, of the it, job. It, there's, there's no. I take no joy in swapping out a player. Especially people like Slasher and TJ. It's like Slasher won us two major championships, runners up at COD Champs. I, I, I really like Slasher as a person. He's great off, off, off camera. I know a lot of players have issues with him because he's hard on them. And that, that's tough in itself. And TJ, I have a great relationship with TJ. I have no problems with TJ. But when an opportunity for a player like who comes up and you're right at the, the, the precipice of being a contender, you're right in the cusp of being one of the top two, top three teams, and a player like Hook, who, in my opinion, is like a generational talent, who knows how he's going to play in the next six months. I can't predict that, but you have to. You have to, to have a conversation at the very least. You have to have the conversation, and it just so happened that the opportunity w was able to fall into our lap. So yeah. That's how I, I feel bad for TJ. You know, I, I really, like, I trust Mundog and J-Cap. They both spend time. J-Cap's one of the best players ever, in my opinion. So for me, it's like, when they say this is the right decision, you I agree with them too. Like, well, you, know? you, you hire people who you trust to do a job. And if you are constantly questioning their decisions or that, like you're not doing yourself a favor, you're not doing them a favor. And look, it, when, when they dropped Slasher, I was even like, well, how's that going to fucking work? Like, the balls to drop a player like that. But immediately you saw the, 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 the increase in performance. So I mean, was, everyone's following suit though. Like that's, you know, that's how this year has been. There's been so many veteran players that are being benched and cut for amateurs and you know some of the times it works some of the times it doesn't but i mean in this case it's not like you're getting an amateur you're getting hook you know yeah no, i i i, I like the move. i consider kyler probably top three top four sub of all time yeah with you know myself john i mean simp and abizi will eventually be there but kyler's you know he's up there yeah so. Yeah, no, I, I agree. At the very least, that conversation needed to happen. The second that he went on the market, I'm, you know, everybody's like, shit. You know, because everybody, everybody, everybody that's a sub player looked at their last performances. They were like, oh, for sure. Uh, that has to be crazy, too. I never yeah. thought about it from that side. Yeah. From being a sub player and being like, I wonder if I'm safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's got to be <laughs> tough. <laughs> you're good buddy yeah 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 people were calling for me i was like what the fuck are y'all talking about they don't know the way the world works if they were calling for you we're going back to back to land soon man yeah man landimal can't wait um wants to congratulate you on jack and valky race uh ownership in 100 thieves that's super dope of you guys yeah i'm excited to talk about it too i'm more curious though how you think we're gonna play with hook i think you guys would be great i mean you guys we were talking about it last night. I mean, they've already showed vast improvements. I mean, they just beat us. We felt like we had an off series, but I mean, they still beat us. Yeah. And it wasn't like, you know, some of the maps were close, but 3 one I mean, it's not like it went last map. So you guys, pretty solid performance. And I think Draza played great last year. He was always great. So a lot of people wanted him to have an opportunity this year. But I with did only, too. With I only 48 too. spots, you know, it was tough for that to happen. So... I mean, you guys picked up Draza, Venom. They've been playing good. Kenny has been lights out, incredible as the main AR, which is crazy to think. I think I'd be a good main AR, too. I do, too. 100% you would. I'd be I, so gross. I pick up a Craig, I always get, like, three kills. Bro, it, yo, even I'll tell you this. Even when I was competing in Call of Duty, like, when people would bail me out, the few people that would bail me out, he's OBJ. he's OBJ. What is it? His job's really hard and shit. Bro. You kids that are on the COD competitive subreddit are brainwashed thinking like <laughs> flex, main AR, SMG. These motherfuckers, these pro players are lights out. Of course you'd be an incredible AR. 
what are people talking about? I mean, yeah, you might some players might be a little bit better being more aggressive, and some players are a little bit slower. But at the end of the day, you, they can use it all. Oh, and yeah, I, I mean, hate, I, 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 to this day, this is my last thing I'll say. I'm sorry. I know it's your guys' podcast. But <laughs> the problem with that I have with even professional play to this day is that they think that there needs to be a formula of two subs, two ARs. There are so many situations, like, in-game, in certain moments where, okay, I need to break this hill, and the best way for me to break this is pull out an AR real quick, win this gunfight, push up, let's go. Well, the game has kind of evolved. It was like that on certain maps at the beginning of the year. Like Moscow, for instance, there were certain hills where we'd pull out three ARs. We don't really do that anymore because now we just understand the game better and how to hold the hills. But, I mean, on this game, it kind of is 2-2, like, yeah, I just never really. It's just how the that. game. It's just how it plays out. You know, you need. It's, yeah, it's just like for me when we were in advanced warfare, we were teaming like Krim was hardcore. Like no, two SNAM ones, two bows, and at the end of the game, it was like four bows. Well, you see more. I'm like motherfucker. I'm gonna get this kill cross map with a bow, not ASM one. What are you fucking you dying see, out here? You see more uh, <laughs> diverse like gun setups in search though. Like Miami, for instance. Yeah. Like you'll see teams run four Krigs on some rounds. So yeah. it's like, respawn is just respawn. It's how it plays. I would love to see you with an AR in your hands. Now. I think I'd be I I've think seen, I'd Did be you just drop 12 on an SMD game with a, with a Krig? Uh, I mean, maybe. I don't really remember. But every well, time I don't really I, remember every, all of my great games that I have. Every time I now. pick up a Krig, I fry with that thing. Yeah. Insta-kills. That gun's insane. That gun is insane. Especially, uh, it looks crazy on... And now the is sub it, is so hertz? much slower. So it's like, the sub got a super nerf. And now it's like, the Krig is just nuts. But yeah, they've been playing great. I think. I mean, I don't think it's going to hurt the team at all. I think it's going to only make you guys better. Yeah, so. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. That's a that's a good pickup. Obviously, TJ's talent is you know obviously you you can't say bad things about it. He's he he all you know he's always played out, lights out. Uh, wasn't from the beginning, right? Files wasn't his name or some shit. Files, yeah, Kids yeah. Like he's terror. he's he's been around for a long time. But hook is hook. And if he comes to the market, you at the very least have to have a moment of reflection and consideration because you can't just pack up, you know. Just I mean, this year's just been hard and it, it's been affecting certain people differently, you know. Like some people want are just better online or they're they're mentally better at getting into matches online. Some people aren't. And I feel like that's what's hurting a lot of like the veteran players is it's it's sometimes hard to fully be into every match because we're playing from you know, yeah. and this is, it's yeah. not like it's been for a few months. This has been now going on for, I mean, basically two years. Two years, yeah. yeah. So it's just been getting harder and harder and harder for people to, like, accept that this is how it is. I mean, hopefully we go back to, you know, how it was with lands and stuff, but it's just hard. We will, but then when that happens, do you think that the same sort of, the the what's <laughs> happening today is going to have an a, a reaction in future i mean it's the same it's it'll it'll happen just both ways some people will get worse on land and some people will obviously get better on land so it's yeah like, that's I'm, I'm more curious to see what happens when we go back to land and some of the people that are obviously performing incredible online that haven't played ever on land whether or not they're able to stay at the top or I think some some will perform and some won't obviously i mean just like in anything but some people definitely will get worse and i know that for a fact just depends who. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I'm not coming at y'all. I'm just saying. No, I, I didn't. I, I, that's not what I was assuming. I, I just hope. I know people have always talked about like the online versus land, and yeah, I, I definitely have seen players shook on land, but for the most part, I feel like everybody. But it's not. Better it's on not. Land. It's I not, always got better on land. It's not being shook. It's okay. It's just a whole different mentality. Like. I mean, imagine, like what? imagine playing every match from your bedroom and that's where you scrim from every day. And it's like, okay, now I'm in a match. How does my brain differentiate that now I'm in a match? Yeah, but how do I get to that level intense of intensity when land, you fly somewhere, you, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to London and losing. Like I'm fucking going there and winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I respect it's, that. Yeah. It's like, I'm not flying three hours and, and spending, you know, five days away from home to go lose. But at home, it's like, you can get caught in that cycle of. Just kind of feels day. like a scrum. Yeah, every day is the same. Yo, what's the electricity bill for this place? Uh, it must be crazy. It is. It's crazy. Fucking. You nuts. probably have the reason for the Dallas freeze, dude. The Texas. No, freeze. well, luckily for us, <laughs> yeah, there he is. Look who it is. Nice you show up. My hard carry. Mister <laughs> <laughs> Formal stepping what? in. <laughs> He's like, that's me. Uh, no, luckily the the hex quarters. Touch my teeth. <laughs> Why do you keep going back for him? 
Damn, Yo, they're succulent. Lo- I he love them. He loves them. They're succulent. Luckily, luckily, uh, we were on the same grid as a hospital, so our stuff never got not, got shut off. Yeah, we were lucky too. We yeah. are. We were talking. It went down for five hours the first night, and then it was good. Yo, it got cold as fuck those four, four, for those five hours that we lost. Uh, that. Yeah, I mean, my girlfriend's family came and stayed with us. Like, it was it was tough for a lot of people. Did you turn on the fireplace? No. Not me either. And that was like the most logical thing to fucking do. <laughs> no. It was like gas, and all you have to do is light it. But the thing that, that caught me said, man, we haven't gotten this shit clean. There's birds in there probably. I mean, I don't Smoke know. Smoke them out. Yeah, man. I mean, it's like the other thing. They shouldn't be making their homes in a chimney. That's fucked up. Well, we, we sort of got oh, in there. Um, the whole gang's here. Yo. What's up there, Dashy? How we looking, kid? <laughs> he bows and shit. He walks by and does one of these and then keeps walking. Um, when are you moving to Texas? Uh, uh, look, man, I, I love Texas. And I, I think, obviously, it makes a ton of sense for me to be here, obviously, with you guys here. I, I miss having... I mean, I have some really close friends in L.A., and I love living in L.A. I mean, it's 75 degrees every day. It's sunny. It's a great place. But uh, but it's not reality. It's Hollywood, baby. You know, you got to be no. real with the, with the salt of the earth humans here in Frisco, Texas. Look, after going to Houston, man, everybody's so nice there. Houston, Houstonians actually, they don't like people from Dallas. They think people from Dallas aren't jealous. as nice and they're stuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, Guilty. yeah, I definitely think one day I could be living <laughs> in Texas. I mean, I was talking to you about maybe buying property and renting it out, or I'm just tied to 100 D's for, for the future. So we'll see. Yeah. You know, maybe we convince everybody to move to Texas, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, uh, why not? John Robinson would thrive out here. L.A. D's, that, baby, with Los Angeles. Mm. Oh, that's cool. Like, we're Fuck you. Chicago. <laughs> I, I mean, after Chicago. You, yeah. Chicago. Well, you yeah. betrayed your city. It's, it's, yeah, right. You did You did it first. You, <laughs> you inspired me to betray my city. <laughs> but I moved to Texas. I can't imagine living in Chicago again. Me either, dude. It just gets so cold, Dude, I, I, it's, it's 60 outside or 75 this morning. I was like, I'm like, oh. Where's my windbreaker, man? Yeah. I did one of these. Walked out there. I miss like parts that. of Chicago, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Chicago's a great city. I can't uh, The food, uh, and we were talking about this yesterday. Like, if I had, if I, if I could have done it all over again, if I would have spent a month in Dallas before I decided to move here, I would have probably said, we're moving to Austin or we're moving to Houston because I've been to Austin. We were talking about uh, the, the X Games and how good the tacos were at the parties or outside and the street tacos were amazing. Just Dallas has trash fucking tacos, man. And it's not even <laughs> trash tacos. It's trash salsa. Like too much tomato, too much tomatillos, too sour. They just don't know what the fuck they're doing. And I am upset. I thought I you were going to talk about the weather or the... No. Look, I talk about the things that fucking matter. I don't waste my time on weather. I can put on a jacket. I could take off a jacket. Salsa? What am I going to do? Bring my yucateco with me everywhere? No. You're welcome. No. Yucateco. Mm. It's a uh, how many? It's, it's, trust me, it's fire. We have to drive like forty-five minutes away to get something like that, man. I'm sad. I would have moved to Houston, Austin. I love you, Jen. San Antonio. You know what I mean? So what? what what's uh? What, why don't you split your time here and and over there? Like your cot team's here. Shit, I don't know. It's a, it's a I don't good, like flying, bro. Well, exactly. Stay here for six months and then fly back. <laughs> I can't, man. I'm running a company. And don't make no joke. Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. Buddy. I, I can see it lighting I, I, up in your head. <laughs> I'm like this. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it. <laughs> nah, bro. I mean, we got a lot of cool shit coming. I got to be in L.A. for it. But yeah, I definitely want to spend some time in Texas. Yeah. Man, 51% Haley loves of my it, man. time in Texas would be great. Haley loves Six it. Six months in like three days. Texas Six is dope. Months through, Six months through day gives you tax breaks that you don't necessarily oh, get out d- there. Damn, no, that's not what I was talking about at yeah. all. <laughs> Gotta get him locked up. It's legal. No, it's legal. It's shut a legal up, thing. Just, just, just shut the fuck up. This is what we're doing out here, IRS. Who runs that shit? <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, man, yeah. yo, give me give me um, a, a story from 6050 that you've never told before that everybody has, like they, that you've been wanting to tell for a long time. I think you guys wiped that out, right? I don't uh, think we have no. any more. No, uh, there I mean, is. I got you. <laughs> I can't tell him though. Let me think. I definitely have a few. Let me think of a good one. What do you miss about living at sixty fifty? Just the camaraderie. Yeah, I miss just being with the boys. You know, it was so much like flying looking helicopters. Looking back on it, yeah, it was so much fun, man. It was. It was a blast. And you don't. It's like that quote from the office. I wish you knew that you were living in the good old days before the good old days were gone or something. I don't know. I'll tell you this. Now that I'm older, I definitely love living with my girlfriend and being organized, going to bed early, waking up, and 
But you always miss living with your fucking boys. I mean, I live with Courage and Symphony, so it's still pretty cool. But they all got their own girlfriends, their own lives. So it's like we're all living in an apartment in with common areas in the house. But 6050 was great, man. I mean, it was a weird time in my life. So to have that to fall back on, it was amazing. I'm trying to think of a good story. I loved it. You hated it. I hated it in the moment, but I loved it now. You loved it. Dug his car out of the snow at like 2 (laughs) a.m. to drive home to Pennsylvania. Didn't say a word to anybody. Well, we weren't saying a word to him. I was was psycho, bro. (laughs) Were you, do you hate, or do you still hate the scuff house? Or do you look back at, like, how do you, how do you differentiate the two when you look back on both of them? I mean, 60 50 was more like, I don't know. Friends. Yeah. No, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I would, no, I would say 60-50, we were definitely closer than everyone in the scuff house, just because the scuff house was bigger. Yeah. And like 60-50, we were like all, you know, within Sharing. five feet of each yeah. other at all t- at all times. Uh, but I don't know. The 60-50 felt more like a grind house, and 12-35 was like, you know, like a house house. And we could yeah. all do our own thing. Yeah, I, 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 I think, sense. look, and I used to be at each, like, all the time. I, I think that you're sort of forced to congregate more when everybody's like in the same tv room where and where at 12 35 is like you have fucking three floors and they're fucking wide open uh the only people that are like sharing anything is is um pomage and uh and nick well, with mean, the bathroom also at 60 50 i mean we didn't have any money yet so like we couldn't buy tvs and yeah. nice bedrooms and nice setups in our bedrooms. so like but Literally, we that... had all our setups in one room. Nobody had like TVs in their room, yeah, but... so we only had the TV in the living room. Yeah, I but mean, doesn't like... that th- doesn't that like point to the fact that look, like even in 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 the in the not bad days, but in the days where we didn't have anything, like that's the one thing you miss. You don't miss the the luxurious fucking multi million dollar house. No, you know what I mean. Like when you could have said it's like, oh, the house was fucking dope. You said, nah, we sixty fifty. I miss it. I was so jealous when you guys got that house. I was like, this this place is fucking dope. I'm like, they did this right as after I left and shit. <laughs> it was it was dope. I mean, both of them both of them house. had their you know their pros and cons, but they were both both awesome times in our lives that we'll never experience again, probably. Yeah. Well, he got to he got to live at sixty fifty, which was like cool towards. The tail end. Mania. Yeah, you did. Yeah. You were there for like three days, four days. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, three days. Three days. Yeah, that's that counts. I did, yeah, that counts. I count yeah, it. Yeah. I count it. You're sixty fifty in my book. Okay, you'll take it. I guess. It. But yeah, it was three great days time. worth. I'll take no, three days. No, you were there for like worth. a week, weren't you? No, literally three no, days. In three days, you I made correct, all those videos with him. I correct with Nick. I made yeah. one video. Yeah, yeah, I correct anyone who tells me like, "Oh man, I miss your videos in sixty 50 I'm like, "I wasn't there, man." I and watched you, them and you weren't even you, making videos back then either. No, I was watching yeah, yeah, the yeah. sixty fifty videos. Oh wait, I got a story. Yeah, y'all know that uh that that water bucket prank that we did on Mike. Yeah, she was all fake. Fake. I fake. was wondering if this was ever gonna come out. Yeah. Well, no, but the problem was the reaction was very real. But yeah. that was set up because we were just trying to make YouTube videos, man. That was before like pranks were even happening on YouTube at that point. Or no, you, you still had, you had um. Jesse Wallens and his girl doing pranks. I think all those were prank probably fake, prank, too. Yeah. Prank versus prank. Do you? Uh, no. When she was burning him with the fucking light bulb, that shit was fucking real as fuck. Well, either way, the reason why it's funny is because we basically ruined that living room because the water, we, we cleaned up as much as we could have, and Hector had to deal with it, but all the mildew was growing like in the couch and in the carpet because it was a full-ass trash can of water yeah i mean and it actually hit him pretty hard yeah, too that, the th- it probably hurt yeah no the thing is is that he he made he did a breathing exercise so he can like uh meditate into a sleep so that part was real he did fall asleep it was set up but he fell asleep he forced himself to fall asleep by doing the meditation well and so the- when the water hit him it was real he, yeah, he really was really like, asleep he, yeah he was really asleep and the That's laughing was real monk? too even he <laughs> forced himself to fall asleep. Yeah, it's a, for, you, you don't do the four six nine, huh? The, you breathe in for four, hold it no. for six. That sounds for nine. like a little John song. Three six <laughs> nine, four six nine. That girl fine. That, that video, g- that video is hilarious though. So. Ah, good times. Fake. Yo, you know what yeah. I was watching the other day? The the water. Oh, oh, yo, we didn't upload the one where we tied you up in a chair with like uh, duct tape. Why didn't we upload that? Because you didn't want it to. Because you said it's like, no, my my, it's like you can see my nipples and shit. Oh, I look fat. Yeah, I was a little self. No, what I was gonna say is like I was watching the the videos where we we're the try not to laugh challenge where we we're spitting water. Oh, at each that other. shit was comedy. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, dude, we had one of those set up here, and then you just 
no, we're not doing this. COVID. <laughs> you know, it's like co- Roger wanted yeah. us to do that during COVID. Yeah, it's a little different. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm 49. I'm not, not, these guys are like older now. We're not gonna spit in each other. We did that. Shit. We already did that part of the grind. Yeah, you know, yeah I think yeah. I think that there's levels that yeah, I don't have to do that shit no more. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, there's there's certain things that we see. Don't- that's the thing is we never did shit like that at the scuff house, and that's like the only time we did it. I mean, we, we didn't never, do, yeah, we didn't we do never shit like that. Shit. No, it's like the only time we did it is when you visited and y'all did the condom thing. Well, I was the like, what? They dropped condoms oh, on their faces. Yeah, it's Used? like, yeah. I mean, we kind of like all just did our thing and. Yeah, everybody was in their rooms, closed doors, grinding it out, streaming. Yeah, I think I mean it's pretty comparable to like the content house now in Hunter D's. Everybody's streaming, doing their own thing. But I think, I think Seth is right. It was definitely more of a mentality thing that everybody was dead broke and. It was a different time on YouTube because, right, you guys lived in that house in, like, 2015. And we were in there, like, 2012, 2013. There was so much that hadn't been done yet. And I think we were all pretty proactive. At least you and I were proactive about making videos. You know who had a great work at the the beginning was Embos. Embos was filming a lot of videos. He was trying to do his thing. You were always coming over trying to film shit. So, I think, I mean, I didn't didn't live at the house with you guys. And maybe that was just it. Like, nobody really, I don't know. I mean, I was just, I was streaming all the yeah. time and practicing and stuff. So that was. Yeah. You were still, when I moved, when I moved in, you were still under your MLG contract. Yeah. So, so I mean, you were just like, yeah, oh, shit, really. you were just pumping shit out. Making yeah. that money. That Shatter. Was, that was an interesting time. Yeah. I mean, it's the MLG like days. Um, I don't, re- I don't really have one specific thought from uh 60, 50. Um, just the, uh, the, the only things that I remember that come to mind are like bad ones. And when I say bad, I just mean like garbage fucking everywhere. Grapes against the wall and shit. Yeah, like what? The, like this dude was, <laughs> and they weren't grapes, grapes like man. This guy grabbed those big fucking modified GMO grapes, <laughs> and he's like <laughs> throwing them. Th- he threw it at me, and he missed, and he hit the wall, and then he just he's like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, he's, he's like, ah. and then he grabs another there. one. He's like, whoosh. You know, like come on, man. Like look what you're doing. And then I see three. It's like turn around three. Do, 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 do. Like a paintball and i had to clean it obviously <laughs> like who else is gonna do it um the killer the kilimanjaro <laughs> for, of the sniper team that i remember that that was that was pretty cool i did that from the uh from uh from the kitchen where i had to drop the entire sniper team it was like 30 of them there were a lot there were a lot yeah oh shit! i don't I remember that. About that yeah everybody was like it was like oh you guys started sniping you're turning your back on sniping and i was like ah look we evolved man we evolved it's evolution you just sit I stagnant. I was in the Walgreens stock room and I read Twitter. Said we have released all the sniper team, and I was like, "No way!" That's a, <laughs> that's a dope story, though. That's sick. What? The fact that you were wor- like working at Walgreens. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I, I just Twitter. I remember looking at my, and then I remember scrolling down Twitter, and everyone that was on the sniping team all tweeted the same thing: "I am no longer a part of Optic Gaming." A couple years they, later, here bro, you did are. Did you ever see that, that clip of Clay and Mac going at it? No. Uh, I'm assuming you didn't. That shit was comedy. It just like relates to that. He's like, "Didn't you guys play Black Ops Four? And Max like, "I was working at Domino's." It's just <laughs> fucking hell because they did. They were messing up in control. Oh. That shit was comedy. Oh, that's funny. It's like I was fucking working at Domino's. <laughs> that's that's just good. Similar. That's dope. Oh, who, who was it on your team that that uh, tweeted out that uh, Venom? Venom, dude, that's dope. Isn't that insane? That, that is, is insane. Dope. Had to sign his scuff and his flat brim at some MLG event. And now he, he beat Optic in a league match. That's dope. A good story I mean, I know him. that's that's a tough part, but it's still crazy to think <laughs> Every about. Every opportunity he gets. Well, no, I haven't brought it up. I didn't even gloat about it. No, you didn't. I actually ended <laughs> up texting you. Sorry. Yeah, you did. I was surprised by that. What? Seth's becoming more mature. What, what did you text him? I just him? said, GG, bro, GG's brother, you got us on this one or something I like couldn't that. believe it, dude. I was, more, I was, I was mind blown. That was real. <laughs> you knew it was coming. <laughs> I saw it coming a mile away. Yeah, that was dope. Um, shit. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, Smoke. yo, you know, you know, I wonder how many of those, like, I, I wonder how many of those things happen, like, on a daily. I mean, especially nowadays, right? The amount of people that went to events, the amount of people that got autographs, the amount of people that got pictures. That the the only last time that I remember something like that happening was that dude. I'm Cody. You know, remember that dude? Yeah. So he took a picture of me when he had to have been like twelve. At uh in in Columbus and I had that picture of him and he and then I he reposted it when he was like already a streamer and all that shit. I think we got practice. Yeah, not a game. Yeah, it's one ten. Oh shit! All right, well, I don't even want to be here. Anyways. Any any closing comments, Matt? Thank you for stopping by. I hope it's not the last time. I can't wait for you and Haley to move out here. Yeah, <laughs> and Gary. No, it was great. And Jack, I had a good time. And Symphony can move back home. 
Blake and George. Brooke. Crazy. Jack, Jack was Blake, supposed George. to move in with me, and then he went to L.A. with Hunt of Thieves. He was supposed Weird to time, man. He was Weird supposed time. to live with me. Yeah, you offered I could move in, and then I don't know where that went. <laughs> well, I got a girlfriend. Yeah. That was that a year that's, and a half That's very good. Uh, any closing <laughs> comments? Anything <laughs> uh, that you want to say? Any cool stuff that you got coming up? Do you want to break here on the Optic Podcast? Uh, no. All right. Well, <laughs> that'll do it. Uh, Seth's got to go to practice. Uh, he's got to walk the 15 meters that way. So we're going to end right here, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the podcast, please be sure to share it. Please be sure to leave a like, rate it, like it, comment, subscribe. Remember how much we that. hated J-Cat for eating Pop-Tarts every day? <laughs> we, we hated people for the dumbest shit. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>